Well hey everyone and welcome back. In this video we'll be covering how to calculate the true thickness of a strata. Now the first question that comes to mind is what is thickness? And you know rather than describing it it's much easier to just visualize it on a two-dimensional cross-sectional diagram. So we'll just give a simple picture. Uh, maybe give it some personality. Have a shape something like that. And then Let's just say there's a strata in there that we particularly care about. Right there. It's dipping, so it's not perfectly horizontal, but that's it right there. And then on the other side we've got some uh, strata that appears to have been deformed. Just on both sides, two different strata there. Okay, and then this guy in here is what we care about. So the thickness of a bed of rock is simply this. If you were to draw a line, you're just trying to make it perpendicular to both sides, right? So that there's a right angle there. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Um, that is denoted by T, the thickness T. And then there's another component that you should understand, which is vertical thickness, which is if you take a line from one side and just go straight up to the next. And you're trying to make it parallel to uh, the vertical axis on this diagram. Just like that. Now you'll see here right away that this actually forms a right triangle, which is essentially what's going to give us our equation for this calculation. Because when we have vertical thickness here, VT, T here, we can relate those two with the, by using trigonometry if we know this angle here. Usually we call this alpha. So then we can say that the cosine of alpha, since the cosine of any angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse of the triangle, then the cosine of alpha is equal to the thickness t over the vertical thickness vt. And that's all that the equation is. Incredibly simple. You just derive it by using some simple trigonometry. And then let's let's just do one little example. Shouldn't be too difficult. So let's just say we have a different uh, different looking diagram here. Maybe something like I don't know, something like that. Quite ununiform. And then we'll have our strata dipping in a different direction. Just let everyone know that's rock. Alright. So in a simple uh, sort of test problem style uh, scenario, let's just say we're given that VT is equal to, I don't know, uh, 4 meters. And it alpha is equal to 50 degrees. Right. So first we're just going to draw in our little thickness line. And of course you don't have to do this. We could just plug those into the equation, but just given a bit of a visual representation here. And then if we were just to draw this, silly me, and we would actually need to extend this out for this. A bad picture, I know. Just We can live with it. Then we got this right angle here. So we know that the vertical thickness is 4 meters. We know that this angle is 50 degrees. Now we'll just plug it into the equation. The cosine of 50 degrees is equal to the thickness divided by 4, so 4 times the cosine of 50 degrees is equal to the thickness. Got my handy dandy calculator right here. 4 cosine 50. So with that we get that the thickness is equal to 
2.57 meters. And of course, in the real world, it, it doesn't work out in this sort of test problem scenario. Um, so if, if you were to try to work out a problem like this, you would need to find the vertical thickness first, you, most likely by um, creating a uh, topographic profile. And if you don't know what one of those is, that's fine. I haven't covered it on this channel. But if you are familiar with those, then uh, the contour height at the point of interest on a topographic profile Right. That will actually be equal to VT, the vertical thickness. So if you know VT, then you can just go back to your cross-sectional diagram. Yeah, these are interesting problems because they require, uh, usually require, um, the use of two different medium media of uh, displaying geologic information. So if you know your vertical thickness, you can just go back to your cross-sectional diagram and actually measure the angle out yourself, either estimate it or preferably use a protractor or some angle measuring device. And then once you have those two, you just plug them into the equation and you get your thickness. And of course, it goes without saying, but um, this equation works anyway. If for some reason you wanted to find alpha, I can't think of any reason why you would, then you can do that. If you want to find the vertical thickness, you can do that. Um, the thickness is just usually what geologists are actually interested in, so that's what the equation is usually said to be for. So hopefully that was informative, otherwise good review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.